This is a tutorial on how to create a handwritten text effect for a title effect to make text appear on screen as if it were handwritten. I'm going to use Adobe Flash Professional CS6 as well as um, Adobe Premiere Elements 10. To start with, you need to create a new action script file in Adobe Flash. I'm going to uh, then place some text on the screen. I think it works better if it's a font that appears as if it's a script, something that might actually be handwritten, um, but really you could do it with any font. So once your text is the way you want it, uh, you set whatever color you want, uh, the background is white, but it's going to end up being transparent when we're done, so you don't have to worry about the background. After you have your text, you want to break it apart by right-clicking and clicking on Break Apart, and then break it apart a second time so that it's no longer individual letters, but it's now just shapes that can be erased. The way we're going to do this effect is we're going to erase it a frame at a time um, from the back, so that when we're done we can reverse it and it'll look as if it's being drawn on the screen. To start with, I'm going to grab the eraser tool and zoom in a little bit. The closer you zoom in, the finer detail you can have with what you're doing. And then I'm just going to start by adding a keyframe and erasing a portion of the text. And you continue on inserting keyframes and erasing portions of the text. Um, the more you erase, the more it will be, or the quicker it will be drawn. So keep that in mind when you're erasing. Um, also keep in mind that you're doing it backwards. So the first thing I erased was the cross member of the T. Now I'll go back to the tail of the T and erase from there. Now it's getting kind of tedious to continue to go to the timeline and right click to insert a keyframe. So I'm going to speed my workflow up by inserting a keyboard shortcut for inserting the keyframe. To do that I'm going to go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts. I need to make a copy of the set that we're using. I've made a couple already, so this is copy three. And then I'm going to go to the Insert section, the Timeline section, and find Keyframe. I'll set a key for that. Control spacebar seems to work well for this, so I'll press that and OK. And now whenever I press Control and spacebar, it will add a keyframe for me. So now I can continue on with a somewhat more rapid pace, erasing little bits at a time. I'll get to work on this and come back and show you in a little bit. Alright, now that I'm done, what I have to do is I have to select all of the frames that I've done. So I'll click on the last and go to the first, hold down shift and select, and then I right click on it and I reverse frames. Now instead of disappearing, it will be appearing as I play. One thing I want to do is I want to add extra frames to the last frame 
so that I can have the text stay static on screen for a while. So I'll just go out a bunch of frames, click and right click, and insert a regular frame, not a keyframe. And now the text will stay. All right, now that I'm done, I'll save it real quick. And now I need to export this as a movie. So I've got a file, export, movie. And I will change it to a QuickTime movie. And get it in the right folder here. And when it brings up the options dialog here, I want to ignore the stage color. That will make the white background disappear. It says generate alpha channel. Press export. Now I can go to Adobe Premiere Elements and I will add that file into my project. If I double click on it to preview it, see that now the background is black because it's clear. It's an alpha channel. It's made transparent. I've already got a sample video here in my timeline. So I'll simply drag my handwritten text as a video above that. And then when I play it, be appearing as if it's being written right on top. That's all there is to it. Here is an example of something you could do with this technique. This is a logo animated for an opening for a video segment.